Okay, we're turning on. What's happening guys, this is Big Long here and welcome back and welcome back, okay? So like the reason why I'm, he I'm here back again on Madison is because that uh, the last time you were, what you're seeing on the dashboard on Twitch is because that Ellen recorded only like seven minutes, like around eight minutes when I did the speed run. Okay. But now, but now, hopefully, hopefully this is gonna work. Okay. But as always, uh, so we're, so I'm gonna do a second attempt again. Hopefully, I'll hopefully I'll get to one hour and twelve minutes. Okay. Okay. Just before we get the green out of the way. Okay, so as always, if you guys like this, be sure to follow and subscribe and subscribe for more videos, okay? Okay, so as always, okay, I start my timer once I, I'm officially moving, okay? So, like, uh, feel free to feel free to feel free to say something into the chat, and then, uh, yeah, let us, yeah, feel free to say something in the chat, okay? I do respond to, to it the best I could, okay? Okay. So ignore the timer that's on, that's on, that's on the, the clock you're seeing right now. Uh, we're gonna use this clock, okay, which is my phone, okay? And as always, uh, for all you first timers right there, if you are technically thinking for thinking of playing Madison, uh, I do have a YouTube channel, which is big, also big long place, big long place where I where I did put the time close to how to complete each section, okay? Okay, let's see. Uh, Let's see. Oh, I can't find my notes. I need to get my notes. What the heck? What in the hell crossed your mind? What is happening to you? Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, it's before I complete this, uh, before I start this, uh, I need to make sure I have what I have. Because I know that I am going to, I am going to struggle on certain parts, okay? Okay, let's see. Oh, I put it here somewhere. God damn it. Let's no. There. Okay. Whatever, okay. Hope I remember some of it. I'm not exactly sure, you know. The thing is the thing about this the thing about this is that when you put something in and you can't find crap. Give me a break. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's... Oh yeah, so basically, uh, so for those who are just tuning in, okay, I'm try- uh, this is technically the speedrun of, of Madison Hot and Hard, okay? Uh, think of the- think of this as technically like a walkthrough, you know? But also, this can change major spoilers, okay? So, like, if you guys- if you guys are- uh, if, if you guys are thinking of playing this, or basically, if you're, if you're curious about how the game is, uh, be sure to stick around, okay? Uh, I guarantee you this will only take uh, roughly within 1 hour and 20 minutes, okay? Okay. So as you can see, this is a first person perspective. Uh, it's, your only weapon is a camera, by the way. And trust me, when I played this for the first time, that I was scared a lot, you know? Like, no joke, okay? Don't believe me? Look, watch the YouTube shorts, okay? Where I did scream a lot, okay? And I'm pretty sure, basically, if you're seeing other streamers playing this, playing this, and you're seeing someone commenting on what to do, well, you see, that is literally me. So basically, that I already played this game already. I beaten this game on hard. I beaten this game on hard. And so, like, I'm giving, my, I'm the one who's just, who just uh, coming into many people's streams and playing this. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll start our timer in three, two, one, go! Oops, sorry. Go now. Okay, get that. 
There you get that. And that. You are not my son. Okay, well that is going down. Make sure you get the get the get the sun box. Come on. Maybe I can get out of your grandpa's house. What an idiot. Okay, there. 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 Okay, interact with the with the bell tower. You're gonna this is gonna open up. Okay. There. Okay. Oh, suck. Okay, get that. Second little one. Okay, after that, I have to take the picture. That. Then that. I'm gonna go here. Okay. Now, will that? Okay, that. Okay, get the nail. Okay, put the nail right here. Okay, there. There, there you go. We're in two minutes in. Okay, as soon as you enter this room. Okay, there. This will give you the answer. The answer is the well. Okay, as soon as you get that, use the key. What you got with the J one? Take your notebook. Then store the moon box because you don't need it. Okay, you're gonna get tape one. Okay, lightning's gonna pull up. Power's gonna go off, but don't worry. Uh, don't worry. This is uh, you just have to turn about turn on the generator. I think Grandpa had a generator in the basement. Oh shoot! Hey there, there you go. Now the world record is basically under forty minutes, you know. But you know that's gonna be crazy, you know. Okay, while tape one is playing, okay, you're gonna go in the kitchen, you're gonna get the triangle key. When a demon attaches itself to a human, demons? It becomes a parasite of sorts. It feeds from the host and You're gonna do a little multitask, okay? Every last part of their soul. Hey, put the triangle key there. The These are the items technically you should be carrying at this point. Okay, while tape one is playing, okay, uh, you're gonna go all the way to the basement, okay? Right here is grandparents' room, right here, uh, right here, that's the bathroom, okay? That'll give you the one half of the combination to the green safe. The green safe does not begin until you begin the clock puzzle, okay? And the red puzzle, okay, that's the medallion, that's part of the medallion puzzle that's in grandma's off, uh, grandpa's room. Okay, we have crossed four minutes and 30, 30 seconds. In the first stages of possession, the host human tends to withdraw from friends and family, becoming aggressive, even things. violent. This is the result of the spiritual battle between the host and the entity, both vying for control over the mortal body. The symptoms that indicate that the possession is progressing are dizziness, nausea, and headaches. The latter of which can be so intense as to render the host unconscious for days. 
The dark entity manipulates its host with visual hallucinations and voices in the mind. Destroying the sanity of the host is for the purpose of making them malleable, compliant. And this is how the demon fully exerts its insidious control. Oh, and before I forget, several cases of possession saw strange behavioral patterns in nearby insects, cockroaches in particular. My advice, steer clear of the insects. There's just no way I can't be possessed. There must be a mistake. Those pictures, that leg, that arm, I didn't do it. Dad thinks it was me, but I... I... Oh, God. My head. A door. A red door. What's happening to me? Okay. Is this madness? It can't be happening to me. Could it be a basement door? Okay. Okay, cactus, moon, and cactus, moon, and what? male. What is this place? This is impossible. What's what's wrong with me? Cactus. Okay, moon. Those symbols. I see male and cactus. Here we go. It looks like a crime scene. Okay, when you fell into the basement uh, sort of thing, you're gonna get the moon. You're gonna get the moon box. Unfortunately, you cannot open that until you begin the retro puzzle. Okay, turn around. You're gonna get Alpha Officer Russell's. What the heck? Officer Russell. Officer Russell that aimed that head to the center. Okay, to progress further into the story, Officer Russell's transmission is going to invite, give a bunch of signals, okay? So you take a picture as soon when the signal is strong, okay? So that's what I meant. There you go. Okay, there you go. Officer Russell here. June 17th of 1987, 5.27 a.m. I am now entering Madison Avenue yes, basement. Do. Okay, so you had no choice but to listen to God, there's a horrendous smell coming from down here. Oh God. I almost can't take it. Time to make things worse so I can't see a goddamn thing down here.
you. happening to me. I gotta get the hell out of... <laughs> okay, we're 12 minutes and 30 seconds in. Okay, to get out of this, what is this? open all doors. That woman. Don't worry, it's, it's part of it, okay? Still alive. Oh, shoot. Okay, so to open this door, you're gonna look for the ground and see bugs, okay? As soon as you see bugs coming out through a door, that means that's when you know you're gonna take a picture. So, there you go. Okay, prepare to scream in three, two, one. There you go. Okay, so there you go. That is uh, the basement basement part one puzzle. Now, the, uh, don't worry. Okay, so next thing you're about to begin the attic puzzle. So the way to get to the attic puzzle. Keep walking slowly, then aim to the right. Okay, like that. No worries, right here. Jump scare. Like that. Oh, don't worry, that got me a lot, okay. This is huge. Alrighty, so here we go. Let me get that. Okay, there you go. Okay. The shape of this portrait. Okay, I need a thirteen. Okay, there you go. Don't worry, it will do not put logic when you're trying to beat this, okay? I know what most people are thinking. Because there's a circle circle wall, you will think you want to put the circle portrait. Well, in some instances that is correct, but however that is not the case. You see, each hidden wall has a number, okay? You have to add or subtract of the hidden number minus the age picture frame to each one in order to solve the puzzle, okay? By getting the key from the attic, you enter your grandparents' room. Now, there's a couple two, a couple key items, okay? Mess. You did free up the moon box, okay? The medallion you got when you when you enter the basement, you put it there. The second one is always there, no matter what. Uh, for that one, I, for that one, I will explain later. Okay, you get the projector slides. Okay. 
Now you're hearing a song, okay? That song is leading to the front entrance, okay? Police officer, the police officer. There's a the tape too right there, but we don't need to listen to that. Now you're gonna follow this statue, okay? Now throughout the whole game, this statue will appear random, okay? Now wanna go? That's the front door. But it will not open until you begin until you begin the the clock the elevator puzzle. Okay, after you put the projector slides. Okay. Don't worry, that's a clock. People were freaking out thinking that was a human. Okay, after that. Get this one. That one. See that door oh, that door always closed when you get the yeah, you get that portrait in the grandpa's office. Okay, now to solve this one. I have to put the projector slides. You keep going until until a certain dialogue comes in. These photos are pretty old. Yes. So you take a picture once the projector goes ape shit. By doing this, this gives you your third medallion. Okay. Now the picture you just took that is the solution to the medallion puzzle: red, white, and blue. Now, in one instance, that is the case. Jump scare on th the right. Just bring statue. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why I did not turn off the TV. Well, if you did not turn on the TV, you'll get a- you'll- you'll- you- it will reveal something to you, okay? Now, let's look at this. Okay, it's exactly like the picture, but it turns out it's not. But don't wait not to figure it out. So, it's, it's not the picture. You take this, take this, that one, that one. That one. Okay, reverse. And there you go. Yeah, so technically the picture is... Technically the picture is the solution to the medallion puzzle, but however, in that playthrough, if it does not match the picture, then you uh, reverse the third medallion to the first medallion and just switch it around. This will give you this one. Now, this is the fourth and final picture. picture. Open that. Interact with this. Okay, grandparents' rooms go ape shit. Like that. Okay, it says we did not turn the TV. You get to glimpse, to get the glimpse. Who's really here? Remember that being in the well? Well, that is Madison. Don't take a picture. Don't take a picture because I have done it many times, and it crashes my it crashes my game. Okay, trust me on live. Okay. If this is a 10. Okay, there you go. Okay, so there you go. Now, if you solve this correctly, the 43 on the wall will disappear, okay? That's how it is. Well, the room goes F shit. Thank you all for coming in. This is welcome to the Madison Hard Walkthrough Speedrun, okay? Feel free to leave something in the chat. Consider this is technically a walkthrough and basically a spoiler to anyone who has not played this game, okay? Okay, now I hope this works, okay? Randomly, okay, so you want to get Madison to walk in front of you, okay? So you keep going. I hope this works. So basically you want to get Madison to walk in the direction in, direction in order to get out of the puzzle, okay? So you make the first left all the way down. I hope this works. And for those who don't know how to, how to solve this, uh, until you solve this, Madison is going to appear like an endless jump scare. Okay, they're right. Mm -hmm. 
left. Hopefully this works. I'm not. This is gonna be endless. There you go. Okay, there. Okay, there. We're fu we're out. Okay, I can't believe it works. Prepare for prepare to be jump scare. And three, two, one. Okay, that was the hardest part of the of the entire run, of the higher speed run, is because that it's an endless jump scare with Madison does appear to you, cause cause you see when the lighter when the lighter comes off, uh, she will appear randomly as a jump scare. Okay, okay, so that's how that's how you solve that puzzle. Okay, now to get out of the graveyard, okay, you seeing you seeing these floors, the thing that's on the ground. Okay, so all you have to do, just follow the pathway on the ground. Just don't look straight, just look down. How, how did I... This will lead you into St. Jupiter's puzzle, okay? Okay, there you go. And uh, once you enter St. Jupiter's puzzle, St. Jupiter's church, I mean, uh, you lose your lighter. So that means all you're left is a camera. Oh, and trust me, you see that when I was on my when I did this on YouTube, uh, I was playing it casually, chatting with anyone who was who was who was talking to me, and I had to go through the entire Saint Jupiter's Church in order to create the ultimate walkthrough to get through the mazes. So that means I had to endure the blue puzzle multiple times until I figured out where is the way, where am I supposed to be going? You know. Okay, and also if you guys are wondering, uh, the official clock on my on this run is actually 23 minutes. <laughs> Do not ignore the clock that you're seeing right now, okay? Because I was technically uh, giving you guys anyone who who is who is looking who is looking who is looking uh, basically to talk to before I start this, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay, welcome to St. Jewelers. Okay, get the yellow candle. Okay, there you go. Welcome to St. Jupiter's Church of 1987. Okay, op as soon as that, open the door. This is impossible. This place didn't look like this a second ago. So both, for those who are just tuning in, okay? Uh, if you ever know basically someone has been giving tips on how to, to play this game, well, look, you're looking at live right now, okay? I am the one who has been giving first timers how to play this because I already endured and and I'm trying to basically not to spoil a lot because the point of horror games is for the, for you for them to experience it, okay? Okay, I hope I remember this, okay? So as soon as you enter the yellow pu can't puzzle, you make a left, then right, and there you go. If this is correct, the Lord's puzzle will be in the left. Nope. Okay, the yellow, the yellow, the Lord's, the yellow candle will be in 1951, okay? So, if the red candle is in 1951, then the other ones will be in, the other ones will be in 1987. Because, in, because, and even though St. Jewelers Church has three, has, has, has two Thailands, 1987 and 1951, and they both have red, green, yellow, and blue, but however, they will not have three can you you you'll not place three candles uh three candles in one timeline. Oh shit, now no. Oh great, now I'm stuck. There you go! There he is! Jesus! Okay, there you go. Okay, 
So the yellow candle is in 1951. Okay, so we're gonna go to the green. We're gonna go to the green maze. Okay, so if the green candle is supposed to be in 1987, then, then that is deducing that is deducing me that I know where to go. Okay, for the blue candle, because the goal is to basically get go to the blue puzzle once. Okay, green. No, green and yellow is in 1951, okay? Since we already established that, basically the yellow... Uh, green and yellow will be in 1951, and so the blue one will be in 1987. Okay, good to go. So if you know how to do it, so basically you figure that out, then you only have, only have to go to the blue puzzle once. Because the blue puzzle is very disoriented and it's very dark, okay? Okay, as soon as you enter 1951. Okay, now as soon as you enter 1951, okay, you're gonna listen to the confession right here, but how you're not going to, okay? There you go. Oh, what are we talking about? It's where we're going. There. Okay, we're gonna save a little time, okay? There you go. Is this her coffin? The eye is missing. Okay, I hope this works. Okay, there. Now, here's the thing. This is what I remember, okay? As soon as you see Jesus on, on the left right here... Here... There... There! Mary, are we right here? Yes! Okay, there you go. Now you can see why this is bitterly disoriented, you know. Okay, there you go. Now, if you did this correctly... What, where am I going? Now, if you did this correctly, then uh, as soon as you listen to the confession, hopefully the confession ends as soon as we get back in 1951, because uh, you will get a note saying that he's here, and that is when the green candle will appear. But however, that is also when you're about to be chased by the husband. Ah, shoot! Okay, I'm gonna make a mental note of that, okay? As soon as you enter the confession, okay? So basically, if one of the- if you put the one of the candles in- in 1951, then you have no choice- Now look at that, you see? He just wanted to- to get away from his crimes, he knew he could stay in Germany. 
He knew. He knew the past was coming to get him. He knew it. He, knew. he, he tried. To and here's the thing the puzzles on both 1957 and 1981 uh, i mean 1987 and 1951 the solution to all of them is the same okay it's just basically the porches are different okay so like for those who are wondering okay so here is the clue how to solve saint jupiter's church puzzle okay so if you're playing normal okay you will see photos on the ground and then you'll take a picture of this like that okay so here is the clue, okay? You see, you see how the background of Mary's portrait is blue. Well, that is the that uh, that is the clue how to solve Saint Jupiter's puzzle, okay? You have to put the blue candle in Mary's portrait in the blue maze, okay? But however, if it's let's say if it's a, if you try to go in 1987 and Mary's portrait is not in the blue maze, that means you have to go to the other timeline, okay? Okay, there you go. Get that. Right, look at that. Green candle up here. There you go. <laughs> my, my, my hand. What the fuck was that? I, I gotta get out of this place. <laughs> okay. Green puzzle, right. Right again. Fairy will be on the right. It'll always be like that. There you go. The color of the okay, so there you go. The bell. Once you put all four candles correctly, the, the bell of 1987 is going to ring. Oh shoot. Okay, okay, that really started me. See, if you're trying to do a spin run, that's really gonna start on me. You're, you're gonna be starting if, you if you're trying to focus on trying to beat your own record. So that reaction you just saw, uh, is when I first played this, that I had much more reactions, more scare reactions, and trust me that. If you don't believe me, watch the YouTube shorts on my gaming channel. Uh, subscribe you guys if you haven't, so that way you'll be updated on future videos, you know. Okay, after you get the confession, okay, you're going to go back to 1951, okay? So you see, the husband will never appear in 1987. He will appear once you get the item you need, okay? There you go. Madison Okay, as you get that, you'll get his get her skull. Where's her skull? Skull is right there. Is this there you go. Her skull. Okay, there you go. We're approaching the 35 minute mark. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. Now, uh, you have to open one more door of bricks. The fourth one is going to disappear. And then after that, the husband will chase you, okay?
What? Okay, as soon as this disappear, okay? Just walk backwards, and as soon as the husband appear, run as fast as you can as shit, you know. There you go! First timers that he's going to scare the crap out of you. Okay, as soon as the phone is ringing, okay, the things you're gonna do is that you don't have to listen to it. Uh, it's, but partially, okay, you go into your grandparents' room, you're gonna get the, the basement key on the left. Okay? Yes, that's correct. Under the plank is the wedding ring, but you need the crowbar. Okay? So the crowbar... So the crowbar is actually in the basement. But however... You would thought that technically... Wait, we have been to the basement. Well, yes, that is true. But however, this is a different part. This is a different section of the basements. There you go. Okay, there you go. And as soon as you enter, door's gonna shut. What the hell is this place? Okay, so the crowbar is in the basement, but however, in order to solve this, you tap the light bulb to rearrange the room. So basically until you find it, Madison is going to appear as a jump scare. Well, which is here. There you go. Now, but you're not done with the basement, okay? There's gonna be a bunch of statues. The same statue that basically that was that was running away from you. Yes, one of them is breathing, okay? So you take a picture of the one that's breathing. There you go. Now, as soon as you take a picture of them, three, two, one, go! Okay, we're approaching. What the heck? I was trying to f open the door. She doesn't show in the photos. Somehow the photos are. Okay, the next one is this one. You're gonna get this. There's only one time you're gonna use the crowbar. There is one in the in the attic, but that gives you a white tape. White tape basically, uh, white tape basically is it, it, the introduction of blue knees. Okay. My, my eyes. So that's it, okay? So at, at when you begin the ritual puzzle, then you don't need the crowbar, no matter what. I, I, I need to get out of this fucking house. So so save inventory. I'm gonna store the crowbar. Oops. Okay, you're gonna take the moon box. And that's it. Where did these come from?
Okay, only three objects. Okay, to get the last one, okay, you need the, the moon, you need two moon keys. One was from the kitchen, one is from there. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. We're about to approach 42, uh, 42 minutes in. Okay, after that, okay, then that's it, okay? Oops, sorry. Wrong one. Open moon box, okay. The sun box had two. I uh, had two um, bodies. The the fit the the moon box had five. So two plus seven, two plus five is seven, okay. Okay, there you go. Oops. Tape three. Okay, while tape three is playing, okay. John, I must stress to you how get the freaking concrete as fast as you can. Okay, while tape 3 is playing, okay? I need to find a way to end this. Fuck. It burns. My body burns. Oh, horns. I think I've seen something. Okay, so for 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 now, the goal is basically to complete certain puzzles in order to get the combination to open that lock from the ritual room, okay? No. no. Not, not again. No. Fuck. I, I can't feel my fingers. Okay, you're about to enter the elevator what puzzle to the, to the front to door. Body? So, like, you need the hammer before you do this, okay? There you go. Turn out the turn out the generator. Okay, head to the front door. Okay. So whatever you do, do not take a picture. Okay. The reason why I say that because Madison will appear as a jump scare. So all you have to do is hug the wall. The doorbell. I I gotta get to the front door. Okay, to solve the elder better puzzle, uh, you take a picture of each of Madison victims on each floor, okay? The first one is Robert Hale, second one is Judith Hale, third one is a 27 year old, and the fourth one is a, is a girl. It's 
sounds like shit. Now, in, uh, it's, if you do this correctly, and on the fourth victim, as soon as you pick, you take a picture of the correct girl, then uh, the announcer will shut up and say you. There you go. We're approaching like 47 minutes, uh, 47 minutes now. There you go. There's only one that fits the bill, the rest is not. The fourth victim is Lynn Jamie, okay? Uh, if you do, if you play this a lot, you'll recognize who the fourth victim is, okay? There you go. Since I did this correctly, okay, go on to the fifth floor. By solving the other puzzle, you'll get the, the another code. Five. That's okay. Get the clock key. Yeah, sometimes that basically you'll go down through the elevator from the fifth floor to the ground what to the ground without getting interrupted like that but if you get stuck between the when you're going down from the fifth floor and that sometimes it will be stuck you know forty nine minutes in okay just hug the wall do not take a picture. Unless you want to get a good jump scare. Okay, there you go. Welcome to the clock puzzle. God. Uh, uh, I write this down. Uh, my hands. This is what the priest was talking about. That thing is. Uh, thing is Twelve twenty-five. Of what the fuck? Twelve twenty-five. The house is full of clocks. 9.30. 11.55. 11.55. And then... Okay. 1.30. Okay. 3 and 12. Okay. 3 and 12. That's one part. Uh, so that's it. As soon as you begin the, the the clock puzzle, you get you get one half of the combination, and the other half is in the bathroom. But if you play this game already, as soon as as long as you know the first two, the first two, 
Then uh, it's smooth sailing from there. Three and twelve. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You're going, and it opens. Twelve, twenty-five. Yes. Okay. So the reason why I was looking at the clocks around the clock is because to solve the clock puzzle, that you need to match the clocks in the surrounding clocks of those four clocks in order to solve the clock puzzle. If we do it correctly, the clock room will go ape shit. So like until you do, Madison will appear as a jump scare. Okay, eight now. Okay, we're going all the way to Grandpa's office, because that is the the highest one. Well technically that's the farthest one. One thirty. Next one is 420. Let's go to the one in the in the kitchen and the one by the by the front the front thing, you know. Okay, 745 did not, okay? So the remaining two will be in the attic and the one by the kitchen. Yes, so... Nine thirty is the second one. Okay, last one is to go to the attic, and that's it. The attic should have eleven fifty five. There you go, that's it. 11.55 will be put on to the third clock. The important thing is basically you have to know how to tell time, okay? Just tell time and then you're good to go. There you go. There you go. Seven. It seems like he never finished this one. Eight. 
I can't, I can't take this anymore. I just can't. My whole body is going numb. Why is this happening to me? This okay, the drawing, the drawing of that gives you the red combination lock, okay? So you see, certain puzzles are randomized, okay? The attic puzzle... The... The attic puzzle... The St. Jubers puzzle, okay? Now let's count this together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So twelve and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And keep going. There you go. Stupid dot. Stupid dot. There you go. Johnny's room is basically your dad's room, okay? Okay, okay, rabbit, rat, okay, rabbit and rat. This used to be dad's room. Oops. What happened in here? There you go. So this is the book that everyone was talking about? Okay, so once you solve Blue Knee's puzzle, then you're good to go. Okay? So the way how this works is that... Okay, here's what I learned for the last time, okay? As soon... So as soon as you enter Blooney's puzzle, okay, that is the only one that shorts to the door. Okay, there you go. As soon as you hear that noise, he's coming. Prepare to flash the shit at him, okay? There you go. Now, Blue Knee's puzzle is also random because you don't know which Sonic, which one of these has the eyeballs. Nope. <laughs> 
Nope. Prepare to flash the shit at him, okay? Oh my god, I'm so close! See, this is the first playthrough from Bros. 1. I never got play two sonograms at once. There you go, that's one of the eyeball. Is this a, a, a human eye? that noise Sorry. Oh shit! He's on the way. No. Oh, shoot. One more eyeball. There you go. Oh, shoot. I don't think I'm I'm not going to break my own record the last time. So 
so Grandma wasn't sick at all. This thing is what really killed her. Three, five, seven, one. That's okay. That is it. Okay. And yes, I am not going to break my record. <laughs> Considering the fact that he walks really slow. Okay, serious thing. So, like, the only thing that basically that <laughs> killed this run, I'm not beating my record, is basically A. A, I had to listen to the whole confession, even though I started the confession while I was in 1951. And the other thing is that I was technically lost in the freaking blue maze, okay? For God's sake, move! If you're trying to be in your old record, you're gonna be saying like this, okay? Move, God damn it! God's sake, move! Move your horse's ass, okay? Oh, come on, move! <laughs> oh my god, move! Move! Come on! Three, five, seven, one. I can do it! Move! Move! Oh god! Move! Come on! Move! The hanged son. Come on! Move! I can do it! Come on! Okay, well, there you go, guys. This is the official time on Twitter. On, I mean, on Twitch, okay? This is the official speedrun record. I beat my own record by one minute and a couple seconds off, okay? Well, technically one minute, I believe. Now, uh, let's... Actually, one out, one minute, no, one hour and 12 minutes, so I beat my own record by... 30, 44. I beat my own record by 45 seconds, okay?
40 Floyd, 44. Okay, well there you go, guys. Okay, I actually beat my official rec my record on on uh, by 45 seconds. Okay, and that's technically achievement. Okay, basically I got Madison to walk in the direction I want her to walk, and ha this has confirmed twice already. So basically now I know how to solve the quarter pu solve the endless puzzle. Okay, okay, but the only thing is that I do not have my guide of how to solve the solve the pu the, the the maze the mazes in St. Jupiter's Church. Okay, so like. So basically, this is why I learned a few things, okay? So you see that if you're doing a speedrun, okay, not only you have to know what you're doing, and basically you have to know basically what happens on di different scenarios, okay? So you see that in the, the medallion puzzle, okay, even though you took a picture to get the third medallion and you saw a picture like that, so you see that in one playthrough is exactly like the picture, but the other playthrough, basically the third medallion is switched with the first medallion and you just rotate them to be, and then and then the the you'll get the third medallion, okay? No, the the fourth picture frame, okay? And also in St. Jupiter's and also in St. Jupiter's church, basically the as long as you know where, where two of the candles are I, okay, and if like, hey, since you get the red and yellow initially, and you know what to do, okay. So basically, that if soon as you found basically, if one, if the two candles are on, are on, are on those are 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 on those time frames, you go to that one, okay. And as soon as you enter uh, 1951, okay, you listen to the confession right away, and then you stop until you that confession is done, okay. So I would save my I would have saved a lot more seconds if I would have known that. Okay, so I'm gonna put a note to that. Okay, and the other thing is that okay, do not get caught in bloonies. Okay, so you see that you're lucky if you can place two of those sonograms in one one run. Okay, so normally that when you play a sonogram, that if Ibar or not, okay, there's a chance he's going to he is going to appear in your area. So you're lucky if you get two. Okay, luckily three. Okay, so that's why you have to take a gamble. Okay. And also, like, you also have to know what you're doing, okay? So that's why, if you want to do a, a speed run, okay? First, you play this a lot, develop a strategy. Then after that, uh, to go through, go through for each one, and look at that, okay? And also for, and also, I'm going to spread this out. For the attic puzzle, okay? In one playthrough, you know, if you see a circle hole, though a circle, a uh, circle, a circle shadow right there, you assume that basically you put the circle portrait in there, right? But however, that's what happens in one playthrough. But in the other playthrough, basically, okay, let's say the hidden number is is 38, okay? Each picture frame has an age, okay? You put the the picture of the age frame by adding or subtracting of the hidden number in order to get 43. And if you get that, if you get that, that's how you solve the attic puzzle, okay? If you solve the attic puzzle, the 43 in the wall would disappear, okay? And so that's pretty much it, okay? So that is my tips and tricks of how to basically do a speed run at Madison, okay? Maybe next time I'll do this uh, once I once I once I find my guide of how to clean the mazes, okay? But thank you guys so much, okay? Okay, I had a lot of fun, okay? And thank you for all those who are following me. I really appreciate it. That's been so much love and support. And if you guys, as always, guys, if you guys like this, be sure to be sure to follow me at twitchtv plays and also subscribe to my channel so that way you'll be updating future videos, okay? But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one.